Hello everybody, welcome back. Exploration in Star Citizen is one of my favorite activities and despite the fact that we still don't have it in the persistent universe and we don't really know exactly how it is going to work, it is one of the activities that is making us dream of the future, that is making us think of all the beautiful worlds and adventures we will experience in this one-of-a-kind universe. What is making exploration in Star Citizen really unique are the various exploration vessels that will offer you a number of different utilities, making them perfect for a number of different scenarios, but also the jump point system that allows certain vessels to pass through certain jump points. The Star Citizen vessels, based on their size and mass, can pass through certain jump points. So, for example, a big exploration vessel with more capabilities than a smaller one cannot pass through a small jump point. So, in this case, you will need to use one of the smaller exploration vessels in order to pass through that certain small jump point and make a discovery, discover a new world or a new civilization. Thanks to this system, the smaller exploration vessels do not become obsolete once you become a more experienced explorer, once you have jumped onto a bigger and with more capabilities exploration vessel. So today I would like to take a look at the starter exploration vessels and by saying starter I don't mean only the vessels that will help you start your career as an explorer and learn everything you need to know about exploration in Star Citizen but in general exploration vessels that can jump through small jump points. So let's go ahead and take a look at the exploration variants of the two starter series of Star Citizen, the Aurora and the Mustang. The Aurora LX is the exploration variant of the Aurora starter series and in reality it is just a more comfortable version of the Aurora base model since it comes with a more comfortable interior, a comfortable bed to facilitate long journeys. It can be equipped with an Oracle jump engine to jump from one system to another and make discoveries and also take extra storage in the form of a store or mini model but it is as starter a starter ship can be. It will be a decent option if you want to make your first steps in the exploration career and see what this activity is all about and in general see if this activity is for you. Its cargo capacity is at 13 units without the extra storage so I guess it could help you make some extra cash while learning all you need to learn about exploration in Star Citizen. The Mustang Beta, on the other hand, the exploration variant of the Mustang Starter series, it is more of a dedicated exploration vessel, it seems to be a much better option for exploration than the LX, so if you are really serious about exploration and you want to start discovering points of interest and maybe new planets, you should probably take a look at the Mustang Beta as your starter exploration vessel. It comes with a Tarsus electronic leaper jump engine and it has a much bigger range than the Aurora LX. It will allow you to jump further than the Aurora LX and make more discoveries, find more points of interest and in general more opportunities to make some profit. The Mustang Beta also offers better accommodations with its unique Com4T living quarters that have everything you will need for a long journey. It also seems that the Beta has all the necessary equipment that we will need in the future if we take into consideration the elements of survival gameplay that will come eventually to Star Citizen. So you will be able to stay in space to stay out there exploring for longer without the need to stop at a space station or a port in order to take care of your personal hygiene. Its cargo capacity is not as good as the Aurora LX since it is only at 10 units which means that it will be more suitable for discovering points of interest and selling the info rather than bringing back a loot and making money out of selling items and artifacts. I have also to mention that it has much better looks than the Aurora LX and the visibility from the cockpit is simply excellent. Here we have to mention the Reliant Sen, which is not really an explorer, a pure explorer, but a more of a hybrid science explorer. It is a researcher rather than an exploration vessel, but it can be used for this role since it is outfitted with long-range capabilities that will take you further into the unknown and it also comes with an advanced sensor suite. Its cargo capacity is at 10 units, like with the Mustang Beta, 
and it will be a very good option to start exploration in Star Citizen if you enjoy the looks of the Reliance series and its unique vertical flight model. Next is the 315P from Origin, the exploration variant of the Origin 300 series and I have to say that this is the first serious step for every aspiring explorer. The 315P is featuring long-range engines, a custom scanning package designed by Chimera Communications but also a more robust power plan than the 300Is that will help you run all the necessary equipment in order to get out in the unknown and make discoveries. The Explorer Jump Engine from Origin and the Jump Scanner from Chimera Communications is everything you are going to need in order to become a successful explorer and get the most out of this activity. Its car capacity is only at 6 units but it also comes with a tractor beam that will assist you to retrieve items of value. Obviously, the focus of the 315P is on discovering more than collecting and we can see this from the very small car capacity. It is a very good option if you want to go faster further and discover more points of interest, have more opportunities to make profit out of discovering locations that you can sell later to the highest bidder. A personal note I would like to add about the 315P is that it is the most beautiful vessel that we are going to see today and it has along with the Mustang Vita the best visibility from the cockpit something that I find extremely important in a first person shooter game in a first person game like Star Citizen and with the rework that is planned for the 300 series I hope that it will become even better and even more beautiful. The Therapy now is another excellent exploration option despite the fact that in reality it is an armored reconnaissance vessel that has scouting and monitoring hostile entities as its primary focus. Thanks to its long-range radar and a dedicated scan station featuring isometric display terminals that allow the operator increased fidelity, it is perfect for discovering points of interest and collecting info, coordinations and such in order to sell them later and make some profit out of this activity. Also, thanks to the bigger hydrogen and quantum fuel tanks that the Terrapin is coming with, its operational range is very long, something that will present you with a lot more opportunities to make discoveries and make a profit. Because its car capacity is at zero, it is not a very good option for collecting a loot. So you can have some items loose inside the vessel, but this is not going to be a good or safe option. Thanks to its strong shield and hull, it can withstand enemies but also extreme environments, making it ideal for exploration in unsafe territories, in areas that other exploration vessels cannot go. Last but definitely not least is the Freelancer DUR, the exploration variant of the Freelancer series that is sacrificing 25% car capacity of the standard model for all the necessary equipment to perform exploration successfully. The Freelancer DUR comes with the perfect equipment for focusing on exploration and discovery and becoming an efficient explorer. It is equipped with the Tarsus Electronics Leaper Pro Jump Engine, Nav E7 Long Range Scanner, Nav E7 Expanded Fuel Tanks and it is the biggest exploration vessel of this category that can jump through small jump points based on the info we have right now. It is also the only true multi-crew vessel of this category so this is the option, the best option for you and your friends if you want to go out there in the unknown together and become successful explorers. We could say that the Freelancer DUR is the alternative to the Terrapin 4 exploration since it comes with a car capacity of 52 units, something that is making it an excellent option if you want to bring back loot, if you want to bring back items and artifacts to increase your exploration revenue. We also have to mention that the Freelancer DUR is going to be the only exploration vessel that can pass through small jump points and can carry a ground vehicle. Obviously, this will have an impact on your car capacity. You will have a reduced car capacity, much less than 52 units, but you will have the option to perform ground exploration as well. Obviously, the Terrapin and the Freelance DUR are the best options in this category, are the best options if you want to become an efficient explorer 
and focus on this profession in Star Citizen. There are better and bigger exploration vessels after the DUR, but these vessels, these vessels we have seen today, can use small jump points, can pass through small jump points, something that means that you can travel anywhere without any limitations. Without any doubt, the freelancer DUR is the best option in this category, especially if you want to bring friends or NPC with you, and if you want to have some cargo capacity or a ground vehicle with you in your journeys. But all the other vessels that we have seen today can help you learn exploration, can help you become a better explorer and later jump to a better exploration vessel, to a better exploration ship, so you can earn a living while performing the activity of your dreams. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.